Hi guys, welcome to part 7 of Angular 7 for Absolute Beginners by Tech Tech in 2019. In today's video tutorial, we will be talking about TypeScript, that what is TypeScript, how can we use TypeScript and what is the purpose of using TypeScript inside Angular 7. So without any if and buts, let's get into the tutorial. So now let's talk about classes and interfaces. So what is an interface? An interface provides a function or a, it is an object which provides us a predefined object types which we can be used, uh, we can implement them in our classes. Especially in TypeScript, we use interfaces with the type injection and use them with the functions to make them work. For example, if I use interface person and a person have a name which is a data type string and age which is a data type of number. So suppose this is a person and we create a function with the name of get details and we pass it person as a person. So in the function we can inject it using this method where we are creating a variable and then defining its data type to that interface easily then we can get this detail within this person and we can use any we can use it like uh, return it using template lit person dot you can see I can see a name and age here which is on in the interface so then person dot age simply like this then we can call this function get details now we are using an object so we cannot do it like this name is like uh, I can say tech tactors and age is 10 we can't do that because now get details need to accept an interface which is an object so we have to provide it somewhere like an object we have an in object we know that we have key value pairs so here we will put a name and here we will put age so this is the standard way of using this interface with the functions and we can use them with the class as well in somewhat in the same manners so suppose this get detail we can console log it or uh, we can say d constant d is equal to this and then we can simply console log d now first i will compile it to tsc index.ts and you will see the difference in javascript that this is javascript code it is a function which is accepting person and we are passing an object and it's using this interface here in TypeScript but here in JavaScript there is nothing like interfaces so if I run node index.js file it will get the result which we are looking for this TypeScript file we are getting it from the JavaScript and it is giving us tech tech tools and dash 10 which is returning from here with using template literal but here as you can see it's using concatenation with the plus symbol we can also use interfaces with classes as well so in the typescript we can define classes by using the class keyword and then the name of the class like this and then the curly bracket this is a simple possible class where it can have its own properties and methods so properties are denoted by with classifiers like private and public if you don't provide it private or public it will be by default a public property suppose I create a name property here so name is a string age is a number so in the constructor I do, do the same name comma age and then I will say this dot name is equal to name and this dot age is equal to age what I'm doing here, I'm creating two properties which are public and then assigning them name and age and then I'm using a constructor which is getting the name and age from the object and then passing it to these variables then we can display them. So suppose I will create a variable const std is equal to a new my class and then I will pass tech tech toots comma 10 simple then I can do console.log std.name and it will show me the name for first I have to convert it to 
TypeScript from TypeScript to Node uh, sorry to JS and you see this is the JS feature and then I will use Node index.js and it is showing us tech tech tools because I am here using std.name so it is showing us the name from this name class so furthermore we can extend one class from another class so suppose I let me delete this one and then let me create a class of uh, uh, suppose I create a class person and where we have two properties name and is a string and age is a number and then if we have a function called let's say constructor which automatically execute name and age which does take name and age and then I will do this dot name is equal to name and this dot age is equal to age and then I will do get details and here I will simply do return and using template literal I will display this dot name dash this dot age and then I can extend another class from this class so class employee extends person so I'm extending employee class from the person and this employee class have another variable employee ID which is a number and then I have a variable a method here or I can as this one is uh, like public variable uh, property so we don't need to create a variable but uh, sorry the method but if it's not a public we have to create a method uh, constructor or any other method so set ID like this so we are using it a public so then I create get details function here and then simply return this dot name this dot age and sorry this dot emp id and then I will use the template literal here so now I'm using it within a temp template literal and I'm sorry I just typed it wrongly and now if I create a new employee you see I don't have a name and age here but when I create a new variable emp is equal to new employee I have to pass it two things name and age so suppose take tech tools and then I put the age 22 and after that I will do emp dot emp id is equal to one two three four five something like this it's a number because so now if I do constant detail is equal to emp dot get details and then I can simply console log detail so now when I compile it it's compiled you see how does it compile it the code is on 37 lines and here we have 23 lines and this code is clean and understandable that we are creating a class then we are extending a class but here is almost ambiguous from where it's starting from what it's doing you can't understand it properly but as you see variable extends and then it's extending extend statistics very complicated code but now if I run it node index.js I will get my desired result here tech tech tools 22 and 12345 which I done here but now over browser or node.js is using this .js file and displaying the information so now let's see how can we use interfaces with the classes so let me clear this one so suppose I create an interface and name it person same like what we have done previously we're using a class and then I will simply do name string age number so to use the interface we have seen previously that how can we use it with the function by injecting it within the parameter of that function but in class what we do we create a class person then we implement this interface using this keyword so now we have implemented sorry I have named the same thing so I will call it my class so 
Now the my class implements the or I can call it employee. And it is implementing the class person, interface person. So now if I do name, you see it is almost showing me that it is using the property person dot name which is dot type string. So name is string, age is number. So if I create a constructor here and it take name and age then I can simply do this dot name is equal to name this dot age is equal to age so this is how we implement interfaces using interface in uh, we use implements to implement the or to extend the interfaces or to use the interfaces within the class now we can do like const emp is equal to new employee and then we can simply provide the name and age and we have done it and then I will do const detail is equal to emp and if I put dot we can display the name and we can display the age so I can create a function get details which will return with the template string this dot name this dot h simply and then we can do get details and then console dot log detail I forgot to put i here so save it and then I will run tse index.ts and it will compile it to the native javascript and then I can run it node index.js and you see we got the same result tech tech tools 22 by using this implement this is how we implement over if we normally we uh, override the data so name and string we are overriding it and we are using them here like this so this is how typescript works and this is the quick video tutorial about typescript and we will be using same format we are will be passing uh, implementing we are just extending different classes as we move on with those uh, TypeScript tutorials so guys I will stop my video tutorial here and hopefully you have understand what is the TypeScript how can we install TypeScript how can we write code for the TypeScript and compile it into native JavaScript code so guys thank you very much please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon as well so you will get notified as soon as i upload a new video so guys take care goodbye and bye